Hey class, it's me again. Um, I'm going to go over this dialog rules paper um, and then kind of go over the IXL thing. Um, I've also decided that I'm not going to have you all like insert. Like on the slideshow here, it says, let me see if I can find it. It says, um, post a screenshot of your screen, which includes your name and smart score on the right. Um, don't worry about doing that. I'm just going to go in and put your grade in. I can check IXL and do that. I don't. I think that's too much trouble whenever I can just simply pull up IXL and put scores in from that. So do not worry about doing that, but we're still doing the IXL topic. We're just not putting a picture in right here. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh, I had this all planned out before I started the video. Okay. Um, so to get to the IXL, um, let me pull up the Google Classroom real quick so I can show you kind of, um, I can go based off the assignment. Oh, I can't find it. No, that's it. I must have changed the thing for it. Let's see. And it says it's Excel ninth grade mm.1. And it's down at the very bottom. But let's go to Excel. I'll show you guys how to get there. Click on learning. Make sure you all um, sign in with your credentials, um, your username and your password. Remember, at the end of your username, it's always at Pulaski County. Go down to ninth grade. Make sure you're in language arts also. And mm.1 is at the very bottom. All the double letters are at the bottom or underneath the single letters. So it goes from Z to AA up here. And mm is right down here. We're doing mm.1 formatting quotations in the dialog. But before we start, um, I think it's really important for you all to um, go over this document, the dialog rules. And if I'm you, I'm keeping this separate. Um, or I'm keeping this pulled up whenever I'm doing my Excel and I'm going back and forth because this is a really good help. Um, but rule number one, a direct quotation begins with a capital letter. It always begins with a capital letter if it's a direct quotation. For example, Jimmy shouted, see you at the game. You see the S is capitalized. And is it true, S, Cindy? You see the I is capitalized there. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Rule number two, when a quotation is separated into two parts with words like, he asked or the teacher demanded, the second part begins with a lowercase letter. So you see that the first part is um, capitalized, but if it's um, Mrs. Baskin inquired, if it's anything about somebody inquired, they asked, they yelled, they questioned, replied, the second part is gonna be um, lowercase. It's not gonna begin with a capitalization letter or a capitalized letter, sorry. Um, and you can see out of these examples, what are some of the things Ms. Gaskin inquired? That makes school so much fun. That is not capitalized. And one thing I like, replied Sarah, is recess. And the I and is is not capitalized there because it's separated by replied and Sarah. Rule number three, when writing dialogue, all punctuation marks at the end of the quotation go inside the quotation marks. Let's visit the museum, suggested Samantha. You see where the comma is inside the quotation mark and then the quote. John replied, didn't we get there last weekend? Question mark, quotation mark. That's a lot of question mark, quotation mark. Sorry about that, about that, tongue tied. But when we did, comma, notice that's inside, Beth added, we didn't see the ancient Egyptian exhibit. That's another tongue twister. Um, periods in, inside the comma, or periods inside the quotation mark, sorry. Shoe, I need lunch or some. Rule number four, do not put a period at the end of a quotation followed by things like she said, mom asked, he explained, etc. Use commas, question marks, and exclamation points, but not periods. So for example, my algebra class is driving me crazy. If you put a period there, then that is, then it's gonna be grammatically incorrect because you're signifying the end of the sentence and then you're putting Paul yelled and that's just the sentence right there is Paul yelled. So make sure that you're using um, commas, question marks and exclamation marks, but not periods. 
I know a lot of times you're like, well, question marks and exclamation marks in sentences too. Yes, they do. But it's just one of the kind of funny rules about English grammar. Um, so just make sure that you're not using periods there. Um, example, my algebra class is driving me crazy, exclamation point. Not a, not a period, Paul yelled. That's my favorite class. And that that's that one, things like that are very easy to put a period after. Those are the ones where you're just going to use a comma. Becky replied, where are we going for lunch? Question mark, Stephen asked. You know, it's not that none of these had question or none of these had periods. You had a question mark, you had a comma and you had an exclamation point. Rule number five, make a new paragraph indent by hitting the tab button on your keyboard when a different person begins to speak. This is going to be whenever you start your rough draft of your short story. Anytime that um, a different person begins to speak, you always hit enter and tab because you've got to create a new paragraph. So last night I dreamt that I ate a giant marshmallow, Kevin said, enter tab because it state because Susie's about to talk. Was that anything like the dream you had about eating your way through a mountain of fruit cocktail? Asked Susie, period, enter, tab, because Susie's done and Kevin's going to talk again. Scarier, Kevin explained. This time I woke up and my pillow was gone. So even if it's just um, two people talking, like you see Kevin had two lines there, it's separated by Susie's, it's, se it's separated by Susie's um, quotation marks. So anytime Kevin comes back to speak, you're going to hit enter and tab. And some other things to remember, always make it clear who is speaking. Um, if you put he said, make sure it's very clear who the he is. Um, and try to avoid using the word said repeatedly. There are thousands of other ways to say said. You can declare it. You can exclaim it. Um, if someone asks a question, you can use question, but that's one of the things we're going to do next week whenever we annotate or revise our uh, rough draft to our final draft is I'm going to give you all a list of words to use instead of said, and then you all go back through your rough draft and you get rid of all those all the times you've said said, and you interchange them with one of the words from the list. So we went over that, so now let's go to IXL. So remember, we found it's mm.1 formatting quotations and dialogue. Correct any errors in capitalization or punctuation. Your answer should be a single sentence. And up here is what you're going to be is the, the um, quotation that you're going to be editing. And down here is where you're going to edit it. So many a small thing has been made large by that right by the right kind of advertising. Uh Oh, where should that quote comma be? should be on the inside. Whipped Mark Twain. And then you just hit submit. Speaking of the importance of using one census, Australian architect Glenn Merkett, I guess, once said, uh-oh, what needs to be there? A comma. And where's the period go? Does it go outside or inside? It goes inside. And I don't know why I'm asking that. I'm literally asking the question on my computer screen. Um, the trains were running late yesterday. Period can't be there. Remember, remember it has to be a comma or a question mark or an exclamation point. But in this case, it's going to be a comma. Complain beyond. But there's one more thing we have to do. Remember, anytime it's separated by Dion said or Dion complained or complained Dion, we don't begin the second quote with a capital letter. We go to a lowercase letter. But I didn't think they would be delayed by hours. And you go through, and as always, the SMART score is going to be out of um, 80 points in the computer. So at least try to get an 80. If you get it up to a 95 or something all that is it's going into the computer as a 95 out of 80. Um, so you all i hope this makes sense if you all are confused about anything um just send me an email but you all make sure that you have this dialogue rules 
um, document pulled up while you're doing it so you can go back and forth because a lot of this can help you in these and it can help you get that SMAR score up and that way you're not doing it forever because honestly I think this is something where once you get the grasp of it then you can then you can do this pretty quickly so like I said have this pulled up um, refer back and forth and if you miss a couple don't get frustrated read the explanation that goes with it because you all that's helpful um, I know it, you're probably like, well, it's really annoying and I don't want to do it, but maybe their explanations more, um, it speaks more clear to you than this does. And that's okay. Um, but you all need to read that explanation. And so that way you won't make that same mistake again. So remember, um, first thing in IXL, you guys are signing in because if not, you're going to get about six questions done and then they'll kick you off because that's all you can do if, until you get logged in. So make sure you get logged in and you're just completing these. And remember, your SMART score needs to be above an 80. But if you want, like I said, you can get it up to 100 or you can keep it at an 80. You can do whatever you all want. Um, if you all are stuck on anything, like I said, refer back to this. But if you're still stuck, shoot me an email. Like I said, I get my emails to my phone. I'll be at school. I'll be glad to help in any way I can. Um, thank you all. Hope you all have an awesome day, which it's still Monday, the same day I made the first one. Um, so, yeah, thank you all.